Hi, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid, and these are my top five mid laners for solo queue. For my top five mid laners for solo queue, I start off with Ari at number five. She has a lot of kill potential in lane and just a lot of burst potential throughout the game. I think one of the best things about Ari is how easy it is for her teammates to play with her. It's very simple for your teammates to follow up. As soon as you ult, they know they're going to go in. As soon as you hit a charm, they know they have to burst that target. It's just a very transparent champion and everyone on your team understands how to play with Ari. That's why I think she's so good in solo queue. Also, she provides a lot of outplay potential, room potential, and just assassinate some potential throughout the game. If you are behind or if you're even in the game and you assassinate one person, that can easily bring you back in the game. Which also kind of leads into my number four pick, LeBlanc. She's very similar to Ari, except she has more kill potential in laning phase, and I feel like she does snowball harder than Ari. Um, LeBlanc just is a champion that through time has been a really, really hard snowballing champion and has always been really good in solo queue and I don't think that has changed. She's very hard to gank in solo queue, so you don't always need your jungler to play around you because even if you get ganked, you can distortion out or use your passive to live. And in solo queue, people don't always know how to play around the block, especially since she's coming back after the buffs, so people haven't played against the block in a long time. They kind of forgot how much damage she does, that if you get hit by the chain, you're basically going to get one shot. She has very good roams and actually really good scaling uh, up to level 16, where you get the third level of your ult. I still think LeBlanc is a very good solo queue champion in this patch. My third pick would be Echo, which is kind of a weird champion to see in a mid lane pool, but I've been playing him a lot recently in solo queue, and a lot like Ari, he's a very transparent champion. As soon as you throw down your bubble or your W, People are going to know that you're going to go in and that they need to be ready to follow up on this. And in general, he has good laning face with good kill setup and really, really good roams. Echo is a champion that can really push his limits, set up a lot of kills, and just snowball your teammates and snowball yourself. People don't really know how to play against Echo mid and playing around his W as a stun. And as, if you play around Vision properly, play around your sweeper, or play around your pink wards, people are going to not expect these bubbles and you're going to get a lot of free stuns and solo queue, essentially setting up a lot of free kills for your team. My second pick, Azir, is just, he's not necessarily like an oh my god amazing champion in solo queue uh, in terms of his kit and playstyle, but the champion as a whole is just super super powerful, which is why he's so high up on the list. Azir is just a really strong champion, also in competitive play, which is why he's picked so often. He just has a good laning phase, good scaling, good team fighting. he's just a really good champion overall, and since solo queue games tend to go pretty late, even if you're behind or if your team is not doing that well, if you get a lot of farm on Azir, you push out your laner, get their turret, which is Azir is good at, you get to team fights and you're still gonna be a monster and you can basically 1v5 in team fights. My number one pick is Twisted Fate, just because he's such a strong solo queue champion, he's always banned in Korean solo queue and he has a lot of global pressure with his ulti and if you go teleport on top of that. People don't respect Twisted Fate in solo queue, they sometimes forget he even exists in the game and how much global pressure he has and it just ends up giving you a lot of free kills throughout the game. Especially on lower elos, people are never going to expect TF to be pointing around the map and putting a lot of pressure and people are so focused on winning their own lanes that they're not thinking about how TF will affect their lanes. Overall, TF is just a very strong solo queue pick and with the global pressure and pick potential throughout the game, uh, I think he's the number one pick for me.